Sick. Okay, let's go. So this is Mario Kart 8. Uh, first of all, who won the bit war? That would be Waluigi. Let's go. All right. I was hoping for that. Um, this is our setup. We're going to use the Biddy Buggy. We're going to use the rollers or the Azura rollers, which has the same stats. And the glider doesn't matter. So we're going to go 150cc. Uh, we're going to go mushrooms only in the because that's the category that I decided to do. Uh, hard CPU, because that's the rules of speedrun.com. And we're going to do the bonus tracks, which are the four uh, cups that were added um, on the Wii U version. So these four cups um, were added as DLC on the Wii U Mario Kart 8, and it's just it's still its own category. So when we're ready to start the timer, I'm also holding R right now to manipulate um, the Animal Crossing stage to make sure it's the right, um, the right season. So three, two, one, go. Um, so the reason the bit war was between those three characters is they're all the same character rate, weight, rather, um, and that's important. So let's go. Um, bonus tracks is sort of a mix between retro tracks and uh, new tracks for this game. Uh, so this one, for example, is the Yoshi um, Yoshi circuit from Mario Kart Double Dash. And now since I'm getting only mushrooms, I can basically just cheese every single shortcut, which is great. Um, the reason I did this was because there's one skip later that I should be able to do without a mushroom, but I haven't practiced in a while, so we're gonna cheese it with mushrooms. I'll point it out when we get there, though. I am also here. I'm CJ, it's all good. Thank you for introducing me. <laughs> You're supposed to introduce yourself. Well, you never stopped talking, so I didn't want to talk over you. Hi, right. I'm CJ, it's all good. I also run this game, but not as well as Quinn. There you go. Um, yeah, CJ's my co-commentator. He's gonna talk when I don't talk. Apparently that's an issue. Well, it's just impolite. You're right, you're so, right. So, the main thing, and you can see, he's doing these mini turbos, and he's letting his wheels get either red or some <laughs> other color of some description. And uh, that just gives you a little bit of speed boost, which we need to go super fast. Not driving on the grass. That does not help you go fast. It does not. Heck, speaking of grass, uh, one thing that mushrooms are also good for, so off-road in this game is very punishing. Um, like, your your speed just gets halted, and it's a bad time. Um, probably because in other Mario Kart games, going off-road was sometimes faster. Um, Mario Kart 64, I know uh, there was a couple of, like, you would just go off-roads because even casually that was faster than following the track. Oops, no mushroom here. Um, and then Mario Kart Wii was just a mess, so I think they decided to nerf it because of that. Um, but mushrooms, you can just skip over uh, off-road terrain, and you don't lose any speed. You still go the same uh, mushroom speed. Yeah, I don't know how many there are in the bonus tracks, but definitely in nitro tracks and the uh, retro tracks, there are definitely some areas where you do some mini turbo hoppies, and uh, you end up uh, hopping over some rough terrain. So. Yeah. Sometimes it is faster, but um, it's a lot... I was about to split, wow. <laughs> It's a lot. Um, it's a lot less than in older games, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So uh, that was the first level. Uh, not a lot went wrong. You went into the wall a little bit, but uh, not a lot went wrong. This is my favorite level of the bonus track saga. Yeah, except it's really cool. Um, it's randomly generated every time outside of time trials. Time trials is consistent. Um, so it has a bit of um, improvisation that you basically need to. Uh, figure out on your own. Yep, so every time that he comes off one of these jumps, in most situations, as long as it's not going to trigger the uh, little parachute thing, it's faster to do these little tricks. You get a little style thing, he, uh, he does a little catchphrase, and uh, he gets a little speed boost off of that. So basically, any time that you come off of a ledge, you can trick, and you go a little faster when you hit the ground. Yeah, the actual boost applies only when you land, like CJ said, which is uh, the mechanic, I guess. Um, Being in the air in general is pretty bad. You don't want to be in the air if you can help it. Yeah. Um, also, some things I sometimes do. Um, you'll see me... Um, I'm trying to save this one, actually. I lost my train of thought. Yeah, you'll see me when I trick. I try to trick as early as possible on the ramp so that I land earlier. Uh, just so I have less air time. But that's like a minor thing. You, you wouldn't notice it unless I say it. Uh, Excellent. I thought that was going to be a mushroom. Yeah, so um, some of you may have been fans of the series, uh, may have watched speedruns of the original Mario Oops. Kart 8 
uh, speed run. And the main uh, trick and the main tech of that was a trick called fire hopping. That has been removed because we are playing on the port for the Switch. So Deluxe does not have fire hopping, so this is a lot more technical. Also, because, uh, oh, we are playing with items. Look at you go. Um, mushrooms only. Mushrooms only. Oh, okay. <laughs> So only the benefit. Only yes, the I, I didn't catch that. I was like, you're only playing with the cheese. <laughs> correct. <laughs> the best kind of items. So this is a hackney category, which posed me at the world record in. Totally. Also, I think we forgot to start the timer, so you know. Oh, yeah, the world happen. record. <laughs> exactly. World record in the fake category. Um, so there are actually two modes in this game, or two modes, there are four modes, but there are two that people actually run, which is 150cc and 200cc. Um, so bonus tracks was introduced in the Wii U version. Uh, they also introduced 200cc, um, which goes a lot faster, and uh, it, it's a bit more um, more technical with how you drive. So for example, I'm almost never letting go of the A button here, uh, whereas 200cc, sometimes you will want to brake while you're turning, just so you don't like fly into a wall or into a pit. Oops. Um, I just prefer 150cc, that's, that's why I run it, but there's uh, there are categories for both, and 200cc really looks cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if you said it, but the maps were designed with the intention of being played at 150cc, so you just have stupid amounts of speed, and you have nowhere to go with any of it. You end up in the wall a lot of the time, but all this environmental stuff, the grass, the dirt, the mud, the walls, it all gets thrown out the window when you're playing on 200cc. Oh yeah, you can you can blast off off roads. It, it will still affect you a bit, but um, not nearly as much because you're just going so fast. Also, I'm not getting any mushrooms here, I'm sad, because there's a few places where mushrooms would be nice. Yeah, a lot of these places you can actually do the item only skips if you're on 200cc and you do a mini turbo. For example, there's like a little ramp we just saw a little bit ago. And, yeah, I'll point uh, out this next race, or this next level. Yeah, there you go. Like this little section here, you can mushroom through. Yeah, so there's, there's a skip in Dragon Drift Way, which is uh, this one that CJ was talking about. It is right around this corner. So here I would go straight, and I would like mini turbo off the side and skip this whole section right here. Um, and doing it three times saves like seven or eight seconds. Um, and in a racing game, seven or eight seconds is actually a lot. Um, it might not seem like it to some other games, but uh, in this game definitely is a lot. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, as a kind of a throwback to the older games, like the um, Super Mario Kart, uh, there are coins in this game, so he always wants to have at least 10 coins, because that gives him a 1% speed boost per coin. So it doesn't feel, doesn't think, you don't think like it would really affect you, but having 10 coins and maintaining it for as long as possible um, not making any mistakes, uh, generally, uh, saves you some time. Yeah. Um, and this course, not including, because you get coins from, like, these, uh, these drift panels. This is, like, the F-Zero course, which is the closest thing to F-Zero we've gotten in a few years. Um, whenever you get a coin, you get sort of a little speed boost, so, like, you'll see, like, a small fire in the back. It's not super significant, but, uh, it's, it's there. Um, anything you get after 10 coins, though, you don't get that speed boost, so getting coins in those cases. Oh, actually, you could have just seen it there. Uh, getting the coins in those cases, anyways, um, is pretty useless. Yeah, so like these little warp pads, because it's a F zero themed level, are the ones that give you the um, the coins. There's also these little spindle things on the map, which will uh, give you like a turbo boost. I never hit this, so good job, Quo. Um, I was using a mushroom, so. <laughs> <laughs> you can, I think you can hit that without a mushroom. But yeah, uh, so so the, the skip that I used a mushroom on, you are able to do it without a mushroom. Uh, back in my prime, I was able to do it relatively consistently. Um, I tried for like a solid 10 minutes and I got it like three times, so I'm like, you know what? That is the reason we're doing mushrooms only, by the way. It's because I'm really bad at this game right now. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, last time that I played online with Quill, he busted that out casually three times in a race. So. Oh, that is true. Yes, you did. I remember that. Maybe it's the fact that I had, like, four hours of sleep last night again. <laughs> yeah, hitting any of these, like, off-road tricks, any of these, like, all-terrain all tricks, uh, they're really hard to hit, especially because it doesn't really feel like it, but you're going really fast if you're doing all this stuff optimally, so... 
really just maintaining your speed, not hitting a wall and hitting the tricks, and having something to do with that speed when you land and not going into a wall is extremely uh, challenging, especially to people that are making the transition from casual to speedrun. It can be challenging. Yeah. Then again, like, speedrunning this game after playing it casually, it's, it's not the hardest game, because it's like, it's a racing game, you just follow the track. Like, you might have bad times, but like, it's still relatively easy to get into at least. I was, oh, yeah. I was gonna split again. <laughs> well, don't do that. Well, world record pays for mushrooms only, right? Oh, let's go. Alright, this is a really cool course. Um, Nothing particularly interesting happens in it, in my opinion, but I just really like the aesthetic of it. Yeah, fun fact, this map on the Wii version of Mario Kart is incredibly broken. The oh, yes. remastered port, not so much. There's like two or three places that you can do some interesting hops, but that's about it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, if you guys haven't seen a Wii run with skips, it's actually really crazy, but that is neither here nor there. Yeah, there's really nothing crazy with the checkpoint system in this game, at least that anyone's found. So in other Mario Kart iterations, the checkpoint system where Lakitu would pick you up or put you down, or he would retrieve you, or he would place you, it was really broken. And this one is pretty stable. There's not a lot of, uh, there's nothing that we know of, really, as far as, like, you know, broken uh, checkpoint system. So really just are playing this game to play it fast. That's all you're really doing. Pretty much. It's very vanilla. Even at the, the last game, Mario Kart 7, there were a couple of courses that had uh, some weird glitches like that. Um, not many people play it, because uh, 3DS games are hard to capture, and it's also the burger and hopping nightmare of a system, but still pretty cool. You also run the risk of uh, someone accusing you of cheating. That's true. That's an inside joke. <laughs> like three people are going to get. <laughs> uh, there's actually... Uh, a, um, a sort of side track to the left there. It's actually slower than taking the main track, even though it does have a boost. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna skip that. Yeah, I think a lot of these like places where they have boosts on the map are meant for like to split up casual players and CPUs. Uh, a lot of these like off the beaten path, quote unquote, shortcuts don't actually save you a lot of time. They just kind of separate you from the herd. Pretty much. Uh, some do, and uh, I think in a couple of courses you'll see me do them. Uh, I think the next one is as I saw post actually. Where Are you going can... for all those on that one? Oh yeah. yeah. You know you so got the it. Next, the next map, Ice Ice Outpost, has at least three uh, little shortcut jumps. I mean, don't say which... next because I'm not actually sure it's the next one. <laughs> oh, you're doing this to me. We're Bait about to find out. On a level upcoming. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. There's a bridge. We're gonna get there, we'll cross it. Oh, there you go. You see, I was wrong. Uh, this is actually one of the more technical tracks, uh, even for uh, you know casual players, because it starts and um, there are straight curves, there are no edges, you can fall off really easily. Oh, I forgot there were CPUs in this game. Oh my god. We haven't seen a CPU in forever. Yeah, so the <laughs> CPUs on this map can actually be a little bit of a problem because they like to bonk. They love to boop and they love to bonk. Oops. They live for it, as a matter of fact, and you can just get booped right off the edge. I'm trying to not get booped or bonked. Uh, you can make this jump in the middle with a mushroom, actually, but being in the air is so slow that even that's not worth it as a skip. Every uh. time that these thwomps come down, you can actually um, do like a trick to get like a little bit of a mini boost, but sometimes you can get so much extra speed that you just go flying off the edge. So, yeah, like. That. I think Big Law was about to say something. Uh, yeah. Sorry, you guys mind if I just plug a quick donation? Oh, go for it. Uh, we got a hundred dollars from CJ Anty and Uncle saying, <laughs> "Love Mario Kart, great job." Why is your family so great? Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh! My family is watching! Thank you, Auntie. Uncle. Fun fact, I used to play, uh... I used to play, uh, games on my S my uncle's SNES all the time. Ooh. You would've played this course, actually. Yeah! Except in 2D. <laughs> this game was a little more challenging back when it was on the Super Nintendo. I'm oh, just yeah. gonna spoil it for everybody. 
Yeah, they've gone a long way with, uh, you know, controls. <laughs> what is this we call graphics? <laughs> yeah. Good times. Ah, this is Ice Ice Outpost. Told you it was coming. All right, so there's three upcoming shortcuts on this map. Uh, they're a little tricky, and they're a little slippery, and uh, I personally fail them all the time, so if Quill can hit them, it's actually a testament to uh, to his uh, skill at the game. Yeah, if I can't uh, hit they them, are tricky. I'm a god. If I can't hit them, I'm going to blame the rust. Uh, oh, it's the game's fault if you can't hit them. Good start. Oh, I got a triple mushroom. Excellent. Uh, there's actually um, a side to the left there, um, but the world record doesn't go for it, so I assume it's slower. Am I getting triple mushrooms because I'm in second place? This is actually insulting. And, okay, I want Boot to not boot me here. Excellent. Uh, so one thing about the uh, the cart um, setup that I'm using, it maximizes max speed and acceleration. Um, but the downside is it's very uh, slippery. Um, and fun fact, if you have a very slippery cart and there are ice physics in the game, um, it's hard. <laughs> so it, it can be very difficult. The previous <laughs> cart comp used a one uh, weight class up uh, character. So you would use Wario or Dry Bowser. And uh, it also had uh, a, the Wild Wiggler or whatever was the name of the cart. And that one had a little bit more traction to it, so it was you wouldn't slip as much. Yeah. I personally like Wiggler Wario better, but uh, I do understand why we prioritize mini turbos over top. Yes, as Shirley points out in the chat, sand in this game is actually the worst. Oh yeah, it has its own set of physics. Um, the worst worst though is when you have courses that switch between normal ground and sand. It's like you're getting used to sand, and then it's like, no, actually. Oh no, oh no. Everything's going wrong. I lied. Everything's not going wrong. You know, you five out of six. A little bit. Five out of six, you know, we'll take it. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Whew, the rust is coming off. Alright, there's actually a really neat skip in this one too, uh, that you can do without mushrooms, uh, which is something else I'm not able to do. So we're going to try it out with mushrooms though, because it's basically just cutting across the grass. Uh, also in this course, coins are replaced by rupees, because it's a Legend of Zelda themed course, which is really cute. I am a... Yeah. Oops. It's a, it's a really unique level. They added Zelda... Sorry, they added Zelda. They added Link in as a character in this game. So uh, really cool that they have the little uh, Zelda map. Uh, there's also uh, the Hyrule Sword that if you hit the three uh, boosting things right um, back, back there, I'll point them out next time. Um, the Master's Sword comes down and sort of gives a ramp. That's the ooh, that's the skip, by the way, that you don't crash into a point. Uh, Master's Sword comes down and gives a ramp. It's actually slower um, unless there's like someone else to set it up for you. So we're not going to go for it, unfortunately. But um, yeah, it's a neat little uh, design in this game. Also, the item boxes give the, the Zelda sound effect instead of the normal Mario sound effect. Yeah, just a nice little, uh, nice little homage to the uh, to the uh, popular franchise Zelda. I let it play that time. <laughs> I skipped to the things I was gonna point it out. Well, there's only track. There's always track number three. Oh, also the uh, piranha plants are replaced by. Um, Deku Babas. Alright, just get a Deku stick and we'll do SRM really quick. Let's do it. We'll summon the credits at the end. <laughs> Can we just do things? Exactly. The day that Mario Kart gets an any percent category with Ace is the day that I retire from speedrun. <laughs> There's probably stuff in the older games, you know. 
Do you think so? I mean, they're incredibly broken, and even recently, um, I also speedrun uh, Mario Kart 64, and there was just a whole bunch of new skips for time trials, and uh, the skips on the cups, uh, like the whole big speedruns that were just found recently, so, I mean, they're still finding new stuff, but oh, yeah. I don't know. If they can do arbitrary code execution with items and cars and characters, I don't even know what to think anymore. Also, baby. Pop. No, I can disconnect you from this call. No. Stop this. Wait, I have a fix for this. One sec. No, you don't. There don't we go. you dare. <laughs> he just mute big logs. All right, so I can't hear what they're saying. So I hope I'm not talking over anyone. This is Baby Park. Um, this is from the. Oh, if I can crash into you, I can actually steal people's mushrooms. Nice. Um, it's from the GameCube era games, anyways. Um, and since it's so short, they actually just make it seven laps instead of three. Uh, the other course that had that rule, um, the inverse rule actually, was Waluigi's course, actually, uh, which had two courses instead of three because it was so long. Another another race on Baby Park has gone by without <laughs> without incident. There we go. You know, I don't know what he what he got so banana shape over. Yeah, it's just a song. God, it's right, a song back. for children. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Excellent. <laughs> this is Cheeseland. Um, I hate this course because there is like Swiss cheese shaped holes in the ground which get really obnoxious. Yeah, these little divots actually uh, can really mess with you and the ground is all wavy. Yeah. One of, the, one of the things that I'll say is that a lot of the time you think the ground is straight and it's never straight. It's never level, it's never straight. So you're just minding your own business, and all of a sudden you just come off of a hole, and it's all of a sudden you're on the track below you. In last place, all of your hopes and dreams have been shattered. And uh, it's a bad time. Uh, Quo, would you say that there's some uh, cheese strats in this level? I'm so mad right now. <laughs> that was a wonderful part. Wow! Oh, we have fun here. We do. Um, yeah, so Cheese actually also has like pseudo sand. I'm not sure if it's like one to one to the actual sand mechanics, but you definitely drift a bit more on the cheese. Uh, oh, I guess I could have taken that jump down. Uh, you drift a bit more on the cheese than you do uh, on actual uh, on actual cement. No. Okay, it's okay. We had two mushrooms exactly for this purpose. Avoiding catastrophe. Always have a backup plan. So yeah, um, the retro track. Sorry, this is bonus tracks, not retro tracks. Uh, bonus tracks are some of my favorite tracks in the game. Uh, they are sort of diverse. They are some of them are callbacks, some of them are new stuff. Um, and they honestly, it's the shortest category. Uh, but it just honest, it just feels much more different than the Nitro and the uh, Retro Tracks in a really like fun and interesting way. So. Yeah, um, that, that, this course actually is, or I don't like it. It's a bit hard, so I had to concentrate there. So <laughs> I wasn't ignoring anyone. I promise. Oh yeah, fine. That's why you have a co-commentator. Exactly. Bonus Star Shark is really cool. Um, this is actually one of my favorite courses. I I like uh, the aesthetic of it. I guess. You also start in anti-gravity, so everything's on the side technically when you're going. I guess we didn't really talk about that. Um, this game has the anti-gravity mechanics back from Mario Kart 8. Um, so if you're looking at it, uh, you know, from the player's perspective, it looks normal. Uh, but whenever you see this, uh, the wheels are like blue. Oops, I thought that was a mushroom object. Okay, whenever you see the wheels are blue, um, everything might look like it's sideways or something like that. That's because you're actually the one that's sideways. 
it's, it's pretty neat. It's a nice touch for uh, the casual crowd, but it's also pretty cool. Absolutely. Absolutely, and uh, I will say we're not going to read any more cheese puns because they're really starting to grade on quote. So if you want your cheese puns read, you should donate them. I'm so mad. At least right of cheese land. Oh, I got barreled. Unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Dare I say, cracker barreled? Dare not. <laughs> Even CJ side of that one. Well, you know. You know, listen, uh, I have hit that barrel and fallen off in that exact spot, so. But it is weird, when you hit something in this game, you kind of tend to go backwards. Like, you get, like, a little boop, and, like, I guess it's the law of physics, right? You pull an opposite reaction. But uh, it is really frustrating when you hit something going one mile an hour and then go one mile an hour backwards off the cliff. So <laughs> it, it does, It's not conducive for a great time, but uh, that's we love speedrunning, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, so is there are some jumps that you'll see me trick off of, like these ones, and there are some that I won't. Uh, that's because your boosts don't... Um, like, they don't stack. Uh, so if I get a new boost, then the new boost replaces the old one. So for example, on those boost paths, there are also jumps. I don't want to trick because the boost... Why are there two links? I just noticed that. Um, the boost from the jump gets me farther than the boost from the trick would. So sometimes it's actually better to not trick off of jumps, so you go a bit faster. I've never seen that before. Yeah. I've never seen two links before. Double link all the way. All right, so apparently I click... Wait a second. I clicked zero instead of R, so we actually got winter, which is yes. the worst season. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awkward. So, so before he started, uh, he was holding R, and or he was holding ZR, and so every one of the seasons is bound to a uh, shoulder button. So ZR, R, uh, ZL, and L. And if you hold one down, it will you will get the right season that you want for Animal Crossing, obviously. For speedrunning purposes, there are sh faster courses that we would rather use. Uh, winter is the shortest. Uh, I think. Oh, sorry. It is the longest. Sorry, no, they're all the same. Cor they're all the same. Um, they're all the same length. They just have different mechanics in them. Yes. Uh, so it takes the longest to speedrun. Yes, they are yeah. all identical maps. Yes. Um. Uh, oh, go for it. Uh, some of them have ramps, for example. Right. So, like, some of them have like ramps that you can trick off of. Some of them have boost pads. I think that basically, if you get anything other than winter, you're pretty happy. Um, but yeah, in general, you don't want to get winter. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the reason we don't want winter is because there is sand physics on the beach, and then everything that's not sand has ice physics, which is really, like right here. I'm super slippery right now because uh, of the ice physics, and ice is slower to drive on than pavement, and it's sort of unfortunate. But you know what? what you get when I get on as a runner. You can't expect someone to do good and press the right button. Yeah, I mean, slip I slide and just can't hide it. Yeah, I think that uh, Quo knows from personal experience that it is harder to drive on ice than it is pavement, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not many people know that. Really? Listen, it's, it's cold up here. Our roads, they just get frozen. Like, oh, yeah. we, don't, we don't have any shoulder buttons to pick from, we just have to suffer. But it's okay, because so do our lakes, and then we can drive on the lakes. True. You get your sheep dog. Sorry, you get your sheep dog. You turn him into a snow dog, and then you just snow sled everywhere, right? Exactly. And the northern exposure. Shout out to anyone that's watched that show. I don't get the reference. It's okay. We we'll get okay. that. Uh, do we have time for a quick donation? Uh, I'll just explain this course quick, and then I'll leave it up to you. Uh, so this is New Bowser City, gotcha. which is another one of my more favorite courses, which actually has the same aesthetic as Speed Dogs at because it's all like neon and stuff. It's really great. Um, it's raining in this course, which means that uh, it's sort of slippery on the non-raining parts, and then the underground parts, it's less slippery, so it's another course where you start me to adapt. Uh, but big law, off to you. Gotcha. So we have a $50 donation from uh, from Bob and Tina Nakarado saying, best of luck, love Bob and Tina. Would be my uh, my brother and his uh, and his lovely wife. So thank you, Bob. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, 
the entire family that's watching Quo do this run. The family yeah. is just coming out in droves, and I just love to see it. I mean, they you love do Mario love Kart. to see it. They love Mario Kart as much as CJ does. Oh. Yeah, my brother. My brother certainly wishes he was as good at Mario Kart as you are. He might actually be. Love Damn. you, Bob. And please do correct me if I'm saying it wrong. Is it Nakarado or is it Nacharado or...? Uh, Nacarado, yeah, you got it. Alright. Yeah. So yeah, so this is actually a really fun map. Uh, like Chloe said, there is some traction issues. You're kind of going from being in the rain to being on the whatever, and then you're on the, the little shoulder thingies, there's tricks. So, it can be a little weird. Um, I think uh, he's doing a pretty good job. I mean, like I said, once you get it down, you don't really have too many problems, but once things start to go bad, once you get off script, you, you can kind of struggle a little bit. Yeah. Isn't that what it's called when uh, the Pokemon runs out of power points? They just you struggle? Yeah. <laughs> it's an everyday struggle. It's an everyday struggle. Um, this is actually one of the few courses in 150cc that you need to, to break as you turn, just so or else your the, the water physics, or the rain physics, I guess, uh, they'll just send you flying into the wall or, uh, or the void. But yeah, really cool course. I like it. Yeah, one of my one of the fun courses of the game. One of the many fun courses. Speaking of fun courses, uh, this one is not one of them. I actually like it. It has it has some pretty cool skips in it, um, but it has that uh, that mm, what would you call it? The like toy, the toy theme. Yeah, it has sort of like a uh, you know. Care Bears in Toyland sort of thing going on. You know, you're small, everything's big, and I have to say, the road up here kind of wobbles and waggles. That's really frustrating, which makes these two jumps really frustrating. There you go. So, but, fortunately, if you don't get the one, you can try immediately get on the other one. Yeah, and hopefully I can chain both of them in a row. It looks pretty cool. I'm um, also... After the first jump, there's a giant bitty buggy on the right, if you guys want to keep an eye out for that. The bitty buggy is the, uh, the cart that I'm currently using. It's the, the ladybug one. There's also like a it's giant very... boomerang in the back and a, a Yoshi thing. Oh, there's another bitty buggy there, actually. I just noticed. It's very meta. It's very meta. The bitty buggy actually is the meta right now. My, um, my favorite uh, little easter egg is the uh, Yoshi's Wooly World uh, yeah. cameo. Um... But the, uh, they actually made a lot of work on the, like... Oh, there's another one there, actually, on the left. I think one. Um, they made a lot of work on, like, the, um... Oops. What would you call it? The backgrounds? Not the backgrounds. Like, the sets, I guess, of the courses. Um, all the courses, like, just the backgrounds and all that stuff. There's a lot of bunch of Easter eggs, and they're all super gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, no. It's a very, uh... uh as Quo would say, an aesthetic game. <laughs> it has lots of really beautiful gorgeous things to look at while you're racing and it, it really makes it immersive you only spend i mean even if you're slow playing casually online you only spend like at best four minutes per stage maybe two or three minutes so you know the fact that it's this immersive and we can still appreciate how pretty it is um, by the way five out of six on those jumps really good yeah Yo, really, five out of six really that's tricky. how i would rate this run five out of six <laughs> Uh, yo, Quo, do you have time for a quick donation? Do it. All right, we got $40 from uh, from Bree. No comment. But thank you very much for the donation. That would be my sister. Thank you, Brittany. Appreciate you. <laughs> oh, boy. So the whole clan coming out today during Mario Kart. This was a good idea that we put in at the last second. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Speed Dogs, for having your stuff organized and being on time or being above time there you go thank, thank you for uh letting me co-commentate so we can get closer and closer to our goal there you go the people love it uh they have donated the gdp of a small country for the support <laughs> <laughs> I love you all. I'll see you at a. I'll see most of you soon. It's us. If we have a birthday coming up. I'm sure we'll all. We'll be. We'll, we'll have drink and dance and fun and some such. And some such. Um, 
This is a course that's a bit random, so the um, the trains are on one of three cycles, I believe, maybe just two. Uh, I think I got the good one, and the good one is the one that's uh, actually used in time trials. Just, yeah, I did get the good one. So I can actually just, ooh, I hit that wall, but it's okay. Uh, he was talking about the cycles really quick. I just want to say there is safer ways to go about it if you go up top. It is a little slower, even though there's boost pads up there. It is a little bit slower, but you run you don't run the risk of hitting the train. Yeah, um, the bottom row is faster, but hitting the train even once would make it slower. So it's really uh, it's really up to the runner and what they're comfortable with. Um, thankfully, in most cases, oh, I went wrong. I should have went to the left of the train. That's fine. Um, in most cases, uh, whatever's in time trials is the fastest one. Uh, which is pretty nice for practice. Uh, and then if you get the wrong um, the wrong set of luck, it's just uh, really unfortunate. And because Nintendo loves agriculture, there is grass even on this level, the subway level, which we are going to cleverly jump in. I think... You don't have grass in your subway? We don't have... Oh, wait, we do have a subway now. It was open for like six months before Corona hit. I prefer oh. Quiznos. <laughs> Um, I think that was course- wait, no, it's gonna tell me. Oh, we're in the last one, holy crap. This is the yeah. last one. I thought we were on, like, course 12 or something. Uh, this is so a big blue. want to do more. Uh, we could, but we're, we're sort of getting back on track with the schedule. All good things must come to an end as we yeah, get on to big blue. Behind now. Exactly. We'll catch up. That's the Starlight goal. Sims is a real mensch. She's gonna finish 30 minutes ahead of time, and, uh, we'll be right back when we are. Like every other run. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, really quick, this is a checkpoint race. It's a little bit different. There are a few checkpoint races on this map, so he's just going to go straight in a straight line all the way down. It is um, F-Zero theme, so it is Captain Falcon themed. So it has a really great song. It's got a uh, really cool map, really unique design. It's got these little things on the ground instead of coins. Overall, great time. Uh, and all the Captain uh, Falcon theme, or the F-Zero, I guess, theme stages, they have uh, sort of like a pseudo-underwater mechanic. So we actually didn't see any underwater sections uh, in bonus tracks. Um, but if you're, you have the underwater mechanics, you can sort of like um, influence the where you're going if you're in the air. So sort of like you've had the glider. Um, so on some of those uh, harder skips, they're actually a lot easier because of those mechanics, because I can just tilt myself up um, and make some uh, a bit tighter jumps, or jumps that would normally be tighter. Oops, okay, oh. we're hitting the walls. Uh, time's coming up in about 30 seconds, a little less, so get ready on that. And everyone be in chat prepared to thank, uh, congratulate Quo on his Mushrooms Only 150cc bonus tracks world record. It's, ooh, whoops. Alright, time is right when I cross the finish line. And time. Awesome. There you go. Congratulations on your mushroom only. Thanks. <laughs> 150cc world bonus record tracks. at speed doxathon. We did it, guys. Yep. the The timer definitely didn't start late. Got a 34.27. I probably slapped like two minutes on that. So like so 36.27. So Whoa fast. unveiled new strats, bonking strats, which allowed him to finish two minutes ahead of the test. <laughs> new strats to <laughs> to not start the timer and get world record. There you go. <laughs> Galaxy brain. <laughs> <laughs>